The relevant backstory, I have two daughters, one is 21 and in college, the other is 26 and because of a lot of factors finds herself pregnant, divorcing her husband and needing to live in our house for the foreseeable future and I am happily married to their mother. The other notable character is my cat lieutenant, we call her Lut. I found Lut in a dumpster almost 10 years ago when she was only a week old, got her to the vet and she has been my best buddy for the last decade. She is now my grumpy old little shadow whenever I'm home. So yesterday I came home from work and I heard my eldest daughter calling me from the kitchen. My wife and eldest then tell me that Lut is getting old dad, and with the baby coming we didn't think it was safe to keep an old grouchy cat around an infant. So we made the decision today to send Lut to a shelter so that she can find a family that is more in line with what she needs. I told them both they were way out of line, not in so many words, and we would talk when we get back. I drive to the closest shelter, find Lut, prove ownership, pay the $100 fee to get her back, and take her home. So here is the drama part, when I get home I call a family meeting and tell my eldest she doesn't get to make decisions about my pets without consulting me, Lut only wants to be left alone and even if it came to it I would rather exhaust all my options before putting Lut through life at a shelter. My eldest began arguing with me that Lut would be a liability around an infant and she is unpredictable, untrue, she is either asleep, sitting on her cat tree or eating. At that point I saw Red and told her my cat is well trained, and dared her to come up with one instance of Lut even scratching someone, which she couldn't but kept insisting that old cats are inherently dangerous for kids. I then told her that she had one month to get a new place to live as she clearly doesn't respect me or my things, and that if Lut so much as lost a whisker, I would hold her personally responsible. My wife and younger daughter are now begging me to change my mind as with my eldest current financial condition I would probably be condemning her to homelessness, and that my daughter should come before a cat. Am I the idiot for kicking my daughter out after she tried to get rid of my cat? OP, if I were you, I would call the cops and file a report so there's a record, because she will probably try again. Not the idiot. Why do people think it's okay to throw away animals behind people's backs? Like what the hell did she think was gonna happen? Oh, thank you so much for dropping my old cat off at the kill shelter, I've been meaning to euthanize it without saying goodbye. Holy hell how callous. Not the idiot at all. She got rid of your cat behind your back. The cat you rescued 10 years ago and hand reared. Oh lord no, that is unforgivable. Then to double down and insist she was right and that the cat cannot stay. She is lucky you gave her a month. You could potentially offer to let her stay but Lut is non-negotiable and, if anything untoward happens to him then she has a week to leave. Also, older cats generally aren't fond of babies and will actively avoid them. Even if the cat bizarrely falls in love with the baby then make sure the baby's door is closed when alone in his slash her crib. It's not difficult to keep them apart when unsupervised. Also, you can get video baby monitors which could help ensure that Lut isn't trying to sleep on the baby. Not the idiot. Cat was there first, Cat has more rights than her not even born kid. Last year when we found out we were pregnant, my mill told my husband we needed to get rid of our cats and our pit bull. Not our other three dogs, just the pit bull. Our pit bull is a freaking service animal for my wheelchair bound mom. Did she care? No. It's a pit bull, it'll harm the baby. Stupid woman. I hired a babysitter for my five and three year old kids two weeks ago. My husband works shifts while I work long hours at a marketing company. So far we've had no issues till yesterday. I came home at 6 PM and noticed the babysitter's wet hair and new clothes. She told me she took a shower after one of the kids spilled milk on her. I was confused but visibly upset but she tried to reassure me the kids were fine, because my husband watched them while she took her shower which only lasted for few minutes. I was more confused that my husband was home when he had a shift to cover. I told her I didn't think it was appropriate of her to shower in my home like that. She argued that it was fine and that she had no choice and couldn't leave the milk on her like that. We argued and my husband heard the commotion and got involved. He said it was not as big of a deal as I was making it out to be but I told the babysitter that I did not appreciate how she basically ignored how I felt about this and dismissed my feelings still. She went home, but we still argued on the phone. She thinks she's done nothing wrong and said I was being unfair when I mentioned potentially cutting from her salary after that. My husband keeps saying that I'm overreacting and the poor girl couldn't handle having milk stains on her body and clothes. But I couldn't help feel it was inappropriate and she should have checked with me. Am I the idiot for my reaction? 
Just for info. I'm the one who pays her, not my husband. I told her to call or text, always available, if anything happens. I didn't even know my husband was home at the time. If you noticed, I said that I argued with her even before she told me my husband was home. And no I didn't know how big the stain was but she argued about being covered in milk for 6 plus hours. As for the question of why my husband didn't go to work? He said he was feeling a bit sick and swapped shifts with a co-worker. The babysitter is 24. She said she has experience and yes she normally brings a bag of clothes, wet wipes and stuff like that with her. You're the idiot. She's not making a regular habit of showering in your house. She was cleaning off because your kids spilled milk on her and that stuff starts to stink if you don't clean it up. Further, your husband was okay with it and your kids are old enough to be left alone for a few minutes while someone rinses down in the shower, or watched by their dad. You are the idiot, why would she call you to ask you when the other homeowner had already told her it was fine? I'm assuming this is a troll post meant to bait people into screaming that they're having an affair, but absent that assumption your reaction is totally bizarre and illogical. Because if you thought your husband was cheating on you, I would hope you would deal with that rather than throwing a fit about where his mistress rinses off after. I used to sleep in the house I babysat at, had my own room, bathroom etc. I think the real problem here is that your husband was at home when he was supposed to be at work. Subconsciously you are redirecting your suspicions on her. Time for some questions, however I'm not saying they are fooling around but rather you are making a huge deal over spilt milk when it isn't a huge deal which means it's likely you think something is up, and likely as if he's lying to you about his shifts. My wife and I had our first child six weeks ago. Her parents and sister live in our town and her mom has basically been living with us for the past couple months and her dad and sister frequently stop by too. All three of them were at the hospital and met our son right after he was born. My wife has not allowed any of my family to meet him yet. My family, parents and brother, live further away and would have to stay overnight. I've been respectful but honestly my patience is wearing thin. My wife's sister and friends are staying in a cabin for the weekend and invited my wife. I'm free to take care of the baby and she doesn't breastfeed so my wife went ahead. I had asked my family a few days ago if they wanted to come meet him, but they were going to be busy this weekend so I didn't mention it to my wife. But yesterday morning my brother said they could come and leave on Sunday. I was pretty excited for them to be here and texted my wife, who had already left with my sister, that they were coming. Well my wife went ballistic, sending me messages of how I was going behind her back and she needed to be there when new people were meeting her son and I didn't know how to take care of him properly. I told her that he's our son and my family aren't new people and I didn't appreciate being accused of neglectful parenting. My family got her last night and we've all been having a great time. My wife has been texting me instructions on taking care of the baby, things she knows I've been doing every day since he was born. I texted her if she's this anxious about me and my family then maybe we should visit her doctor and talk about post-pregnancy issues. That resulted in her blowing up again and accusing me of calling her crazy. Right now I'm just enjoying time with my son and family and waiting to deal with the aftermath when she gets back. Am I the idiot? Your wife has been lying to you when she used the excuse of not wanting overnight guests to prevent your family from meeting your son. Had it been the truth, she wouldn't have cared that they met him while she was away, as long as she didn't have to host them. Not the idiot. I don't know what is going on with your wife, but it's much bigger than this argument. If she doesn't immediately apologize and give you an explanation the minute she walks in the door, I would insist on marriage counseling. If I were in your shoes, I'd start researching options right now, before she comes home. It is your child as well. Your wife had no problem with your ability to look after your child while she went and spent time with her family. Your brother coming to stay has not changed this in any way. Child is fine, you're having fun, go ahead and enjoy it while it lasts. When your wife gets home it seems likely there will be an inevitable confrontation but you have done nothing wrong. Not the idiot. This is something that a lot of women need to get through their heads. Being the mother doesn't mean that they get to call all the shots where a new baby and concerned. The father has equal say and has the right to make decisions as well. That's especially true when a mother is obviously being selfish and only allowing people she wants to see the baby. Which is what your wife is being, selfish and controlling. We got one last really nice warm day, and I said I would take my son and his friends to the pool this morning. When he was texting everyone he told me one of his friends had a cousin over and asked if we would be able to take her as well. 
I asked how old the cousin is and if she knows how to swim. He said 10 and yes, so I said of course. We get to the house, and I meet this cousin, and she is blind. Right away, I felt nervous. I was going to have six kids with me, and no other adults. I've always been a little neurotic about water safety. My son is a great swimmer, and so are his friends, but I've never met this girl before, and I don't know if she is a strong swimmer. I was worried that I would be constantly watching her the whole time, and that would mean I wasn't paying enough attention to the other kids. I decided to take the kids to the park instead. The kids complained, but I said there was a problem at the pool, and they got over it. Eight-year-olds have short attention spans. The cousin is getting along with the boys, even though she's a couple years older. I did text all the parents to let them know where we are, for safety. The aunt of the little girl just texted me back asking me what happened to the pool plan. I texted back that I decided on the park instead. She asked why, and I said six kids at the pool is a lot, and the park is less stressful. She asked if I didn't take them to the pool because her niece is blind. I said six kids and water with one adult is just a lot. She said I was fine with five, and it seems obvious I just didn't want to watch a blind child in water. I responded that even if that's true, which, yeah, it is, I just didn't want to admit it, would that really be so bad? If I'm not comfortable in my ability to keep the kids safe in water, I shouldn't supervise them in water. She said if I can't keep kids safe in water I'm a bad mom and that I was being an idiot to a 10 year old. I like this girl, she is so sweet, but I get anxious about water safety. Am I being an idiot? Should I take them to the pool? Not the idiot. If you don't feel safe taking a child you do not know to the pool that's the end of it. You aren't aware of her abilities, they didn't warn you ahead of time. The aunt could have come along to help supervise. There's no way I would ever host five to six kids at the pool by myself or send my child to the pool in a group that size with only one adult supervising. But then again my kid has special needs and isn't a super strong swimmer. Being unfamiliar with the needs of the child you did the right thing. No one can tell you what the right decision is for you because everyone has to access the situation for themselves. If you were an Olympic swimmer and grew up with a blind sibling that maybe it would be different. Assessing the situation for what you feel is safe is 100% your job and you did it responsibly. Sadly, being responsible often means disappointing some people in the process. Not the idiot. You know your limitations and taking care of a blind child can be a lot even out of the water. You don't know this child. You don't know how well behaved they are. The fact that the child had a medical disability should have been explained before you agreed to take them. Props to you for making reasonable accommodations where you felt safe without excluding the child. I divorced my ex-wife when our daughter was in grade school. My daughter and I have had a rocky relationship since I can remember and I do admit I could have been more present when she was growing up. We never connected like I did with my son. My son played sports I enjoyed and he was just warmer to me when he and my daughter would spend weekends at my house. My daughter is very hardworking, smart, athletic, but there were times, I admit, I was hard on her. My now wife used to give her a hard time about always being hungry when she was growing up and playing soccer and track and I admit I have made comments about her body that I wish I shouldn't have as she has never had a problem with weight. My daughter resented us for years because of this but I think we've started to make peace with the past. Like I said my daughter is very athletic and smart and after high school she ended up getting into her dream school for sports and academics. During her growth years I oftentimes felt closer to servers at breakfast restaurants I frequented than my daughter, and I became close with one server in particular. He was a great kid who was into film and I even invested into his filming projects and attended showings and other events. Fast forward to recently, I was invited to his college graduation that is 4 hours away and decided to attend to support him. I however chose to not attend my daughter's graduation that was a week or two after my friend's graduation. Her college is about 5 hours away from where I live and at the time I just couldn't make the trip due to other obligations. She also said she wasn't keen on walking in the ceremony and didn't make a big deal about it so I assumed it would be fine if I skipped. However she's now giving me the cold shoulder because she found out I attended a restaurant server's graduation, he's also a great friend, and not hers. Since we haven't been close I didn't think much of it but she is obviously upset and I worry we are not ever going to have a good relationship. Am I an idiot? You are the idiot, if you expect to have any kind of relationship with your daughter. 
During her growth years I oftentimes felt closer to servers at breakfast restaurants I frequented than my daughter, let me guess, you actually engaged in conversations with the waiter, but not with your daughter. I worry we are not ever going to have a good relationship, why on earth are you worried about it? You don't care enough to go to her graduation, why do you care at all? You are the idiot. You are a terrible parent. The absence of a relationship with your daughter is 100% your fault. No problem, your daughter succeeded in spite of you. I hope you didn't have any plans to walk her down the aisle or ever meet your grandchildren. Your server? That is a conditional relationship. You are his buddy because you tip, and probably tip well. Read out loud everything you just wrote and ask yourself if you were your daughter how would you take it? Is not just her college graduation, it's you as a whole parent that is very bad. Honestly the fact that you are not self-conscious of all the mistakes you've made or just downplay all the wrongdoings while she was growing up speaks volumes. You are the idiot for sure, but it is not too late to salvage the relationship with your daughter.